हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम बालाजी यू आर इंग्लिश टीचर होप यू आर फाइन माय डियर लर्नर्स टुडेज टॉपिक इज डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिव प्रोनाउंस वर्सेस डेमो डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिव एडजेक्टिव्स राइट एक्चुअली दिस टॉपिक इज नॉट कंप्लीटली न्यू टॉपिक फॉर यू इट इज द ओल्ड वन Uh, we have already learnt uh, these four words this that these and those in our first standard and some some of you must have learnt these words these four words even before uh, enrolling yourself in first standard right these are the words these that these those we learn even before going to school correct so the topic is not uh, uh, that new uh, it's old one but uh, i am going to explain this uh, from grammar point of view right uh, you know uh, first of all uh, let me uh, let me tell you uh, the definition of pronoun and adjective what exactly is a pronoun and what exactly is is an adjective pronouns are the words which are uh, which are used uh, uh, in place of proper nouns or nouns right pronouns are the words uh, which we use uh, to avoid unnecessary repetition of proper nouns in sentences or in passages correct and adjectives are the words uh, which modify nouns and pronouns in uh, in sentence correct Adje in in short adjectives are descriptive words they are modifying words they give additional information extra information more information about nouns and pronouns uh, in sentence so uh, this is the uh, what basic information about pronouns and adjectives right uh, now let us see these that these and those four words uh, these four words these that these and those uh, they play double role they uh, function uh, both uh, as pronouns uh, and uh, adjectives they function uh, pronouns as well as adjectives uh this uh, the word this refers to anything which is single which is single one in number uh, this uh, refers to anything singular uh, it could be a person place or uh, any living or non living object right uh, it refers to any singular object it could be living or, or non living object that refers to anything uh, which is singular uh, that again it could be uh, living or non living object and uh, it uh, refers to anything which is fairly away from us and this refers to anything uh, anything singular which is fairly near to us and uh, uh, this uh, the word this uh, refers to anything which is more than one in number and uh, again uh, which is fairly near correct and those is a pronoun uh, which refers to uh, anything uh, which is more than one and uh, and away from us not Uh, close to us or not near to us right so this uh, this and uh, that these two refer to single object a singular object it could be living or non living object this refers to uh, singular near and that refers to singular away these and uh, those Uh, these and those uh, these are used to refer to plural objects and uh, these refers to plural near and those refers to uh, anything which is more than one but uh, away correct so this is the uh, basic information about uh, this that and these and those and most of you uh, already know this now the um, now the main point that i am going to uh, explain today is this one right uh, what is what exactly is the difference between demonstrative pronouns and and demonstrative adjectives because these four words uh function both demonstrative pronouns and demonstrative adjectives so let us know uh, let us see uh, when they function as demonstrative pronouns and when they function as demonstrative adjectives the definition is very simple uh, look at this uh, a demonstrative pronoun stands alone how does it stand a demonstrative pronoun stands alone whereas whereas a demonstrative adjective describes a noun 
so in this way we understand that uh, when these four words come alone in a sentence uh, in the beginning of sentence uh, they function as uh, demonstrative pronoun and when these words are followed by any other noun uh, or nouns that time they function as demonstrative adjectives this is the simplest uh, uh, way uh, to distinguish between demonstrative pronouns and demonstrative adjectives look at the uh, definition again a demonstrative pronoun stands alone this is very important a demonstrative pronoun stands alone whereas a demonstrative adjective describes a noun means it doesn't stand alone it always precedes a noun or nouns if it is singular uh, uh, it will be this or that and if the noun is plural then it will be these or those correct look at this example first example this is right in this example this functions as a what it functions as demonstrative pronouns and not as demonstrative adjectives correct right it functions as demonstrative pronoun this is right you can also replace the word this with any other noun for example uh, ram is right or uh, sham is right or rupali is right or uh, he is right or she is right correct again the, there is no much difference uh, in the meaning correct look at the second example this answer is right now in the second uh, example this this is not demonstrative pronoun but it is functioning as demonstrative adjective as i already told you there are many types of adjectives demonstrative adjectives give more information about following noun or pronoun so in this example in this second example is the subject answer answer is noun right it is common noun it is answer is noun and it is functioning as subject so the word this modifies the word answer correct this answer is right correct so here this though the this are the same uh, though the this uh, look uh, the same in the first example and in second example but in the first example this is functioning as demonstrative pronoun whereas in the second example this is functioning as demonstrative adjective because it is giving more information about the answer means this answer not that answer correct yes demonstrative adjectives give more information about uh, near and away whether the thing is near or away correct yes uh, look at the next example that is nice that is nice so in this example that is functioning as demonstrative pronoun it is functioning as what demonstrative pronoun because there is no other pronoun that itself is a pronoun and it is functioning as subject uh, uh, like uh, this in the first example right uh, so th that is that is that is nice in this example that is functioning as what demonstrative pronoun now look at the last example that house is nice in this example that is functioning as demonstrative adjectives because it is giving uh, additional information about house house is nice but which house is nice that house is nice means it is giving it is uh, uh, it is uh, specifying or it is uh, uh, showing a specific it is indicating it's denoting a specific house right that house is nice Under Understood. So in this way, uh, uh, I hope uh, you un you learnt and understood uh, the topic uh, demonstrative pronoun versus demonstrative adjectives. It's so easy. It's so simple to learn and understand. Uh, whenever these four words, there are only four demonstrative adjectives and demonstrative pronouns in English. And whenever these uh, words. Uh, are not followed uh, by any other noun or pronouns that time they function as what they function as demonstrative pronouns and and when they are followed by any uh, any uh, noun or uh, nouns that time they function as demonstrative adjectives that's it hope you learned and understood uh, thank you so much for your patient watching have a knowledgeable day ahead thank you